Hello and welcome to Morris Park. I'm Clyde Morris. And today we have another big uh, spiky replanting. I've got this great big Echinocactus crisonii that's been in this pot for a few years and it's due for uh, some new soil, some new digs. I'm planning on putting it into this great big bowl right here. And I got this bowl from uh, my wife's uh, stepsister, Ms. Jennifer Weiss. And she brought this over to me to use. It's a great big stoneware bowl, really nice one. I've already drilled the hole in the bottom of it for uh, drainage. And we're going to take this big echino cactus and put it in here. Now today, I'm not going to have to use the master key on it, I don't think. I wish these gnats would go away. I don't think I'm going to have to use the master key on it because I've got a lot of width around the plant to where I can actually slide a, a blade down there and loosen it up. I couldn't do it before on the euphorbia disc just because the euphorbia hung all over the outside of the pot and it would have just injured the plant anyway. Also, my plan is to use this furniture pad and I'm going to cover the top of this cactus so I can just flip this cactus over and pop the pot off of it. I won't have to worry about breaking the spines because I'm going to have this pad over it. So right now I'm just going to get to where I'm going to loosen this up. Try to get the roots away from the side of the pot here because he doesn't need terracotta pots. These plants sense that this is a natural material and so they tend to root to it like they would rocks or clay or soil or anything like that in the natural environments. It's a little tight in here, but I believe I'm going to be able to get this one out a lot easier than I did the euphorbia. Now, before I did this, this plant you can see is kind of at a lean. I had a cage around it right here holding it all up because this is so narrow at the bottom and uh, has so much weight to the top and it was kind of leaning as it is now and so I'm not sure whether I'm going to use rocks and stage it and prop it up or whether I'm going to cage it again but right now I'm going to try to loosen this up and see if we can get this out of here without uh, it getting hurt or me getting hurt as this has a lot of spines okay I think I've got the sides loosened up good so I'm gonna take this and put it over this and then tape it on so it'll have this pad over it and that way I can just flip it right upside down tape this on here fairly tight and then we're going to flip this uh, cactus upside down roll this over real gentle like this makes it easy so I just pick the cactus up also Just like that. Now I got this idea from Chris on uh, Ted's exotic cacti, and he did this uh, this move, and I thought that was a great idea. And being that I have a few of these furniture pads, I thought I would just take and use his idea. So uh, thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. It was a great idea, and uh, it seems to work very well. Now. I'm going to try to uh, break up some of this soil and maybe dump some of the top dressing and stuff out of here that I've dumped. This sure does make it a lot easier. Roots are still pretty good on it. The soil is nice and loose, so I'm able to get it off real easily. You can see. 
good healthy roots. They're not dead, they're uh, well attached, so still doing good. I say my main issue with this probably will be just propping it up. Okay. Got all the soil off of there. Kind of push this out of the way. I can clean that up later. And we'll start filling some soil in our uh, other pot here. And get this ready to roll. Yeah, the good thing about that pad is you're able to handle it in all which ways and not get tore up by the plant. And have the advantage of not breaking off all those spines trying to roll it around on the ground and get it out. Okay, you've got some nice little layer of soil there to start it. Let me see here. I had one break off. It's actually a pretty healthy root too. Although smaller roots are pretty well tied to it. So that's pretty good. Ouch, that hurt a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start filling in here. I like spread these roots and I want to spread these roots out a little bit. Okay. I'm such a big wad. Okay. Hopefully we can get this uh one to sit upright. Basically using the same cactus mix as I, <coughs> excuse me, as I used on my euphorbia. Nice well drained mix, non-peat. Furniture pad really makes it nice to hold on to this thing. Being that's so heavy and you gotta work with it pretty closely. The main thing will be getting this thing to uh, just stand up because it is so top heavy. It comes big over the cat. He's got to come in and be part of the video. I'm not sure about though. He's seen this big weird thing under this pad. He doesn't quite know about it. Hey, buddy. Big O kind of likes to be in these videos, don't you, Big O? Hi, buddy. Yeah, he just can't help it. He's got to be in there. <laughs> More soil here around this. The only disadvantage with this uh, having this pad here a little, is uh, not being able to see everything what you're doing. But it sure makes things a lot easier in other ways. Okay. Try to get this all settled in here. Look out there, big old, there's big spines under there. Hey, buddy. 
Ini dari I'm really surprised at how shallow root this uh, golden barrel is. I thought it would be a little more difficult to get out, but it wasn't. Yeah. So we're going to fill in a little bit here. I get to stand up. And that's going to be my biggest issue. Is having it stand up. I put the top dressing on this and try to make it better too. Hi, big old. Yeah. Trying to get a back scratch on that thing, huh? <laughs> so you just gotta be part of your videos, right? Is that right? Those got to help. Tamp this down a little bit before I unleash it. I use most of my soil in this container. It's going to need a tiny bit more. I got another container. So I'll go get that real quick. Yeah. And you want to go get that soil for me, Big O? Okay, Big O's kept you entertained by meowing. <laughs> and I got another thing of soil here. <clears throat> Didn't need too much. Well, watch it there, Betty. Watch it. You're flirting with disaster there. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. Okay. I think I've got it probably where I want it. So, we're going to cut it loose. I am going to do is fold this over so I can kind of use it to, to sit on top of it and fill in the rest of the way. Kind of like that. Okay. I think I've got that pretty good. And I'm going to start putting some top dressing on now since I cleared these spines. I got a little bit of the old top dressing in the spines. Unfortunately, it's the same thing I'm going to use this time. Keep that in there. And now, I'm going to put on the top dressing. And this top dressing is actually from my last video. And this is what I meant when I repurpose pots. When I use the master key on them and have to break them out of their pot, this is what I do. I make them into top dressing. They don't go to waste.
This kind of top dressing, the only thing you got to watch on it is that it dries, uh, dries very quickly. It's very porous and freeze real well. Very careful here. I'll probably get some nice rocks to put in here. Stage it. I probably won't stage it sitting right here since it is so big and heavy. I'll take it back into the greenhouse to stage it. And uh, do it there because this isn't going to come out of the greenhouse again. I find these golden barrels when you have them pod and you throw them out in the sun, they have a tendency to scorch a little bit. So they don't really like a full good day of sun. So I figured my greenhouse is probably the best place for it. The stoneware pot will look pretty nice with it. And this broken pottery, this terracotta, actually looks really good. Just looks like uh, red rock, basically. And you don't waste a pot by just throwing it out. So that's kind of the good part about that. Take some of this top dressing and throw it back on there. Some of the old roots out of the top there that fell in there. Quite a bit of dirt there on the top. Blow it out. I watch getting my face too close there because that thing will bite me. about ready to uh, take it to the greenhouse and stage it up. Okay, what do you think? Yep, a little stuff stuck in there on this side. Give this knife has a nice round tip on it. I can just kind of pluck things out of there without stabbing the plant. Makes it nice and easy. Okay. I think that's pretty well it. Use this little tape roll here to kind of push on it a bit. There you go. I think that looks pretty good. get this thing to the greenhouse and we'll start staging it up. Here it is. Got it all staged up. Rocks are uh, also going to be holding it up so I don't have to have the cage around it. Really like these uh, stoneware pots, have that real earthy look. Cool rocks. It's from the other side. Yeah, that's real nice. I've had this uh, Echino Cactus Cusonii, this golden barrel, for a long time. Raise it from when it was about, oh, five inches wide, maybe. And it was about maybe four inches tall. It was kind of wide and flat when I first got it. And over the years, it got to be quite the cactus. 
anyhow, just wanted to uh, share this little wicked repotting and maybe uh, pass on an idea from uh, Chris of Ted's Exotic Cacti. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Very good idea. Worked really well. Anyhow, this is Clyde Morris from Morris Park. Hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Take care.